What's up everyone? It's another day here in paradise. Uh, it's Monday. I had a couple meetings this morning. It's about nine o'clock now. Time should just fly. Loading up the 770 here. Going to do some work. I don't have to go do a job. I get to go do a job or at least that's how I look at it. So my sister Marlena, business partner, got married out here at my place. She got married on Saturday. Yeah, I have like 10 acres here. The river is right over there. A couple, several acres of, of yard here and then right on the other side of these pine trees there's like a big open field for parking. You can park a bunch, bunch of vehicles up there. So it's kind of, it worked out pretty good. I never thought this would be in like a wedding venue, but it could potentially be that. So if you want to get married at my house, 2022, hit me up, shoot me an email. See if we can work something out. Got lots of space here. Got a pretty unique house over here on the inside. It's uh, got some character, lots of good uh, photogenic stuff around, so. Anyway, uh, loading up a 770, I had to move some stuff around, clean some stuff up. I'm gonna go and fuel it up and head to a job. We're gonna rip out a bunch of concrete, tearing down a bunch of walls, timber walls, black walls, and rebuilding them with boulders, of course. So let's get this sucker chained down and go to work. This is down through here, so we can get down here. Had an old deck here, taking off this block. And then, coming around over here. All these stairs are coming out. So, right over to the stairs. Some uh, acrobatic stairs here. So then this timber wall is coming out, he stairs, all this, and then doing boulders of course, then we're going to add another four foot wall, you can see it kind of where it needs to be one right there, another four foot wall going around, we're going to be all river rock in between, do some black dirt and stuff down over there, so there's lots of, lots of uh, meetings and permits for this one, but finally got it approved and ready to roll, a nice little return here, going up the side, access is going to be pretty steep coming through those trees, but like always we'll uh, make it work like we always do not sure how these guys found us but it's right in our uh, right in my hometown big lake i've been driving past this driveway my whole life so it's pretty fun i like doing jobs that i don't need the gps to get to because i just know where they're at we're on the river here it's a gorgeous view it's a gorgeous morning excavator should be here shortly seems like i'm always waiting on the excavator i'm always waiting like 20 minutes for that thing so That'll get here and we'll uh, start ripping and tearing. Getting down here is going to be fun once we do. It's nice and flat. So, plenty of room to work right from the front. Let's make it happen. Normally we fuel up all the machines the night before, but since this came straight from a different job site, uh, the guys weren't able to get it fueled there, so as soon as we got it here, we got her fueled up, like to fuel everything up in the evenings, that way you can get there right in the morning, grease if need be, and get to work. Well here you can see we got a ramp all dug in, got all the concrete out. So 
I made it back here. It's 145. It was insanely tight. You can see I had to go see the track right here. Go over that concrete. I had to lift up with the front to clear this pipe and then go down and then drive through. I was about one inch away from this gutter. You can see my track is here. Drove right over this. Look at that. Carolinas. It's it close. Busted this all up. Got anyone here? Now I'm about to drop off into the abyss. A little bit of a ramp. It's pretty steep. Right down. Set the camera up down there and uh, slide my way down. See how it goes. A little side note in order to efficiently do a job like this you basically need a side dump all day uh hauling all the old concrete out hauling boulders in etc etc <laughs> brock perfect you like filming uh, i've never done it before perfect first time ever <laughs> Deep hill. I got a bunch of uh, toothpicks up to the hill there. I think the customer may have wanted me to throw this bow target away, but it was too nice, so I just decided to throw it out of the way.
so all the thumb police were going crazy a couple of videos back so I addressed that here in just a second you guys believe it? I finally got a tripod I don't have to try to wedge my camera up in a tree or anything anymore it's crazy thanks to Carolina up on Amazon so a bunch of you guys were freaking out asking on the last video why don't you have a thumb? you need a thumb no I don't need a thumb I have a CFP grapple this thing is huge look it's taller than me this thing's like 7 feet tall it's huge Okay, it's got some big piece, you can sift things out and that's the piece. Only reason I had the bucket on that other video is because I wasn't moving that much uh, stuff like this. I was moving uh, I was moving a lot of dirt and not a lot of wood like this. See how nice I can sift this out, got a few pieces in there, but see how I can sift all this out. Grab it up, way more efficient than a bucket of them. Take this over the So I'm just sort of ripping this stuff out. It's just a little toothpick, a little toothpick retaining wall. Ripping this out with some fabric behind it, occasional dead man. But ripping it out, stacking it, and then since the hill's so steep, it's easier to just grab it with the excavator and throw it up there. So we get all this wood crap out of here. All oh, this junk's gotta go. So I'm gonna start grabbing this and throwing it up there where we can get at it with the skid to get it in the truck and get it out of here. We're gonna cut this bank back seven feet and then build the wall. So go back seven feet and then do a four foot wall and then grade up and another four foot over here. It's gonna be a fun one. So to get this kind of clip, I had to get a little bit creative, so I had the camera standing up on the tripod in front of me, trying to hold it with my knees so it didn't fall over. Yes, I know. This footage isn't the most stable ever. I didn't have my gimbal, I just grabbed my camera quick before work. So what you see is what you get. So generally when you're dumping boulders out of a side dump you want it back in at a little bit of an angle then once you dump you back up a little more and the trailer kind of just pulls away from the rock but since we had no room we weren't able to do that here so we had to make room with what we had. So here's what we got done. We got all this dug out. Uh, we need to move the wall face of the wall about seven feet so I dug back about ten. Come here with the skid, grade us all level. Got a little bit of grade going up so no water sits in the bottom of the wall there. It's coming together. Got all those stairs taken out. All that debris cleared off the hill. Real good progress for one day's worth of work. I, I took a part of the Chamber of Commerce from Monticello. So I took a lunch break for that, went and did that. It's gone about two hours. We're gonna have to, have to dig all this dirt out. So that's that. Um, so Dave Campbell, a uh, longtime follower, big fan, he said, uh, he commented on the last year, I want to see what's going on, make more videos like this. So I wasn't going to make a video today, I figured, well, Dave was requesting more, so I listen, try to listen to you guys, give you what you want. This is more our channel than just my channel, so Dave wanted to see what was going on today, so I kind of made a video of some of the things that were going on today. So here you go, Dave, hope you appreciate this. But anyway, well, uh, check out the video rest of this project since I got you guys started on it. Lots of bowlers to do here, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, and remember to always do the next right thing. See you guys soon.